Well, hello, and welcome to Timber's Fireside Learning Time. Let's get started, y'all. The first part of the three-part video series, I'm going to talk about all the equipment you're going to need while you're out there. So like filming, editing, and posting, all that stuff that we're going to be covering in the first one. In the second video, we're going to talk about how to film while you're out there, a lot of the obstacles you'll, you'll face, and a lot of the types of shots that you're going to want to get, and how you can get those shots. And then finally, we're going to talk about how to edit while you're out there, and then how to post it so that everyone can see. The thing that you're going to need first, before you even think about doing any filming while you're out on the trail, uh, is a, a camera, a video camera. And that can be from the most professional type camera that you can find, which I, I don't recommend taking out there, uh, to your iPhone or Android or whatever uh, built-in cameras on any you know, other device that you take. And that's actually a pretty good idea to, to do it that way. We used uh, an iPod Touch 4th generation to film, edit, and post while we were out there. It was pretty convenient to have it all on one device, but if you wanted to kick it up a notch, you can use a different type of camera and then transfer that media over to a different uh, editing device to post, but we'll, we'll talk about that later. But really, you just need any type of camera uh, to get out there. I would recommend uh, thinking about the durability of whatever device uh, for filming that you bring out there. So if you look into getting a, a nice point and shoot camera that films uh, really high quality HD video, uh, I would recommend looking into getting one that is completely waterproof and uh, not easily damaged. Another piece of gear that you might want to look into is getting various types of mounts and or tripods. I've seen a lot of people that carry around a GoPro with a chest mount or a head mount and uh, that's, that's the only shot they get and it's a point of view shot and uh, it can get pretty old after a while. So that's okay if you have that, but switch it up a lot. You know, a lot of people that are watching want to see different things from different angles so it's not just completely repetitive and boring. Some types of tripods and mounts that you may want to think about getting uh, is one is just a simple tripod. Um, you can either get um, just a normal tripod, try and get as light as possible, but that will be kind of bulky in your pack. So I would recommend a Gorilla Pod. You can wrap around branches and uh, they, they're just really handy. I, I had one the whole time and uh, used it so much by the end of the trail, it was so worn out that I had to throw it away actually. Another type of mount that I highly recommend is a stick pick. Uh, you can go to the website and find one that fits to your trekking pole and you can get some really good shots back at yourself or, or just some great action shots while speaking into the camera or just hiking. Another mount that you may want to consider if you're taking along a phone or an iPod or device like that is getting a little bracket mount for the device itself so you can put it onto a tripod or a stick pick because most of those devices obviously don't come with a, a threaded mount for a tripod. A pretty vital piece of gear, I, I would say just as important as filming if you actually want to distribute and edit things while you're out there, is finding a device to edit and distribute this footage. Uh, like I said, we used an iPod Touch. You can use any sort of device like that. You can even bounce box a laptop ahead. Uh, that may be a little kind of costly. Uh, but keep in mind, if you're using uh, a camera other than that device, you can actually transfer the footage to that device uh, with some accessories. Um, it, it, your device makes sure that it's uh, capable of handling that kind of quality footage before you get out on trail. Test all of the stuff before you get out on trail so you're not kicking yourself while you're out there. Um, but it's very important that you have some kind of device like a, an iPod, Android, or a laptop while you're out there so you can actually do that. Do some research and find what works best for you. And lastly, in terms of getting prepared equipment-wise before you get, go out there to produce these videos, uh, you're going to want to look at battery power and various accessories that you may need while you're out there. For instance, like I said earlier, um, any kind of cables or anything to transfer 
files over to a different device or dumping media files uh, to back up stuff later if you do bounce box with a hard drive or something like that. So uh, what do you do with batteries? Um, what I did is that I bought some cheap uh, batteries off of Amazon that were not from the manufacturer because they tend to run uh, quite a bit higher price and I put them in a waterproof case along with uh, all my memory cards for my other camera. Uh, later on in the trail, we did buy a small battery bank to keep our iPod uh, recharged while we were out there because it, it was so much easier to edit the stuff while we were on trail so we didn't spend hours editing in town while we could have been grocery shopping, resupplying, or just relaxing because we didn't get a lot of chance to relax actually if we were editing so much. One thing you will want to note if you start early like we do when it's really cold is that those lithium batteries or any device that has a lithium battery in it, if it gets cold, that thing will just die like immediately. What you want to do is with all your batteries, keep them uh, like you would keep your water if you wanted to keep your water from freezing. Just uh, keep it in your jacket while you're hiking or keep it in your sleeping bag while you're sleeping. Otherwise, your batteries will just die. So that wraps it up on the equipment side. Like I said earlier, this is all just from my experience. So if you think of something else that works better for you, go for it. Just do the research and make sure you get lots of practice before you go out there so you're not kicking yourself later. See you next time.